Hello and welcome to TechTut. In this lecture, we will be learning minimal or canonical cover for a set of functional dependencies. So, to start with, let's try to understand this first with an example. Consider a relation R with attribute A, B, and C, and a set of functional dependencies A determines B and AB determines C. Okay? So now, if you look at these set of functional dependencies which has been given to us, you can find out that something is redundant, right? If we have to always, whenever we are designing a database management system, we can come up with so many set of functional dependencies, right? But we always have to see that what are the functional dependency which is important, which are important, and what are the things which are redundant what are the fds which are redundant and we can remove okay so here if you see as a can determine b so this b here this b can be determined from a right what i mean to say is a alone can determine c as a can determine b okay so we have now a b and a b can determine c right so we need not to say that a b determines c rather we can reduce it to a determines c or if you want to understand it more formally then what do we need to do is let's find out a closer so what is a closer obviously a will be in a closer and as A can determine B, so B will also be there in A closer, right? Now, from A, B, we can determine C, okay, using this functional dependency. So, C will be in the A closer. So, what, what does it mean? It means that A alone can determine C, right? So, we can directly write it A determines C rather than writing A, B determines C, okay? So, here this is an extraneous attribute and it can be removed okay so this is the whole idea of minimal cover or canonical cover that is let's say for a given set of functional dependencies e if we can reduce it to f okay where e plus that is what is e plus e plus is f closer of e is equivalent to f closer of f closer of f that is f plus so if these are equivalent it means that any functional dependencies which has been removed to form this f was redundant okay and that was not actually required so this is our minimal set of functional dependencies and we can go forward or we should go forward with this set of functional dependency let's take an another example for the same relation R, A, B, C, let's say the given set of functional dependencies, we have A determines B, B determines C, and A determines C. Okay. Now, here also something is redundant and we can remove. So, as from transitive rule, we know that as A determines B, here, as A determines B and B determines C so we can write it down that A determines C okay so this is obvious from transitive rule so we need not to mention this functional dependency and we should remove it okay so further we can reduce it what will be the F dash now will be equal to A determines B and B determines C fine so this is our reduced set of functional dependency and we will call it as canonical cover fine so what is the basic idea behind canonical cover so when while forming canonical cover for a set of functional dependencies there are three conditions which we should take care of so the first point is that we should have singleton right hand side that is if we have a functional dependency like this a determines bc then we should decompose it and we should write it A determines B and A determines C. Okay. Now, the second thing is we should not have any extraneous attribute in left hand side. 
So what I mean by saying this is we have just uh, seen the previous example. So in this example we have just seen that AB determines C and in AB determines C this B is an extraneous attribute and we were able to remove it. Okay. So any extraneous attribute in left hand side has to be removed. And finally the third point is no redundant FT functional dependency. So these are the three things which we have to take care of while finding canonical cover for a set of functional dependencies. So in the next video we will be solving a problem on this where we will be finding out canonical cover for a set given set of functional dependency. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.